the angry, the angry white guy, which actually I'm really Trump's demographic because yeah. I'm, I'm You're an, Michigan angry white guy. I'm an guy, angry yeah. white guy over 50 with a high school education. <laughs> so that's me. Yeah. So if I could just speak to my fellow angry white American guys who are semi-uneducated like me. Oh, yeah. You're really a man of the people, aren't you, Michael? You can really reach out and connect with blue-collar, white, working-class Trump voters who are financially struggling. You can really sympathize with their plight. I'm really Trump's demographic. Give me a fucking break. Your net worth is $50 million. You own nine fucking houses. You literally spent $2 million on an extension. You own a Manhattan condo that was once three apartments. Oh, but you really represent Trump's demographic. I'm really Trump's demographic. Your own neighbors say you don't even talk to them. You live like the very 1% you condemn, but then claim to have retained the common touch. I'm really Trump's demographic. Shut the fuck up. Listen. I don't care if you're a multi-millionaire. I'm glad we live in a society where someone who trashes capitalism for a living can get filthy rich from doing so. But for God's sake, save us the sanctimonious torture of you claiming to represent white working class people. And then in the next breath, welcoming the demographic decline of those very same people. They are fanatical about this because they know their time is up. Listen, wearing a baseball cap, refusing to visit a barber shop, and failing to maintain basic levels of personal hygiene isn't fooling anyone. You're not working class. You're a smug, conceited New York elitist who spends 99% of his time rubbing shoulders with other smug, conceited New York elitists. Going on talk shows where literally every host holds the same pompous liberal establishment opinion, insisting that Trump voters are all angry, illiterate, uneducated rednecks who need to shut up and die out. Funny thing is that while you laugh it up at old white people dying off, there's one thing that's dying off even quicker. Your career. Your anti-Trump diatribe Fahrenheit 11.9 was a total flop. It grossed 1 20th of the money you made from Fahrenheit 9.11. Guess that next $2 million extension will have to be put on hold. Your Broadway show was also a complete financial failure. Even left-wing publication Variety admits you've lost your audience. Why? Because you're a total sellout. You've become the epitome of the very thing you started out railing against. Your first movie was about American jobs being offshored because of globalist trade deals. Now we get a president who tries to roll back those very trade deals, and you do everything in your power to tear him down. You're also a relentless hypocrite. You started off the 2016 election by calling Hillary Clinton a Goldman Sachs corporate warmonger. I just heard on the streets of Belfast here that you supported Hillary Clinton. She voted for the Iraq war. Uh, she is funded by Goldman Sachs. This is not good. Now we have Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and you to blame for this. Only to turn around months later and endorse her after the DNC screwed over Bernie Sanders. But you should be out there doing what you can do to get Hillary Clinton elected because the, every minute counts now. I mean, this is a pretty good person. She's a decent person. I believe that she has made incredible uh, changes that the left should embrace and, and we should get out there and get excited about her. She voted for the Iraq war. She is funded by Goldman Sachs. I mean, this is a pretty good person. She's a decent person. So you literally made an entire movie about the evils of capitalism and the joys of socialism, only to stab the only actual socialist candidate in the back. You initially denounced Clinton as a danger to the world, then put on a stage show where you literally stand in front of romanticized photos of a young Hillary while calling her your forbidden love while invoking the audience to engage in cult-like North Korean-style adulation in her honor. Oh, but at least you really support women, right? Dudes, give it up! <laughs> it's, we've been running the show for 10,000 years! It's like, it's like we've, we've had a long run as men running everything, so why don't we just take a break? Let the majority gender run the show. So is Michael Moore really keen for women to take power because he's such a fantastic feminist? Or is he only saying that because there are more women running on the ballot as Democrats? Gee, I wonder. Who could we possibly ask to get the answer to this question?
I know, let's ask Michael Moore. You know there are so many women on the ballot? Well, imagine my shock. Turns out there are nearly four times the number of women running as Democrats compared to Republicans. You know there are so many women on the ballot? That's why he wants women to take power. Not because he cares about women, because he cares about power. Remember when Samantha Bee called Ivanka Trump a feckless c Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless and the backlash was so severe that even the normally unrepentant B was forced to apologize. I crossed the line, I regret it, and I do apologize for that. Guess what Michael Moore said about that? He called it brilliant. Yeah, he really loves women, but only if they're Democrats. Michael Moore loves women so much, he applauds when they're compared to genitalia. You feckless such a good feminist. Michael Moore loves women so much, he palled around with serial rapist Harvey Weinstein for years, calling him, quote, one of the best people to work with in this town. Then when Weinstein was exposed, Moore went quiet for eight straight days. When asked about it by the media, he refused to comment. Then when he finally did say something, he basically just blamed all white men. Funny that, isn't it, Michael, that while you were smearing Trump supporters as rapists... If you hold down the woman while the rapist is raping her, and you didn't rape her, are you a rapist? You were best buds with an actual rapist. Michael Moore loves women so much, he bought nine properties, then threw his ex-wife under a bus for spending too much money. So many women on the ballot. Listen, when your entire relevancy is completely dependent on the very corporate media establishment you used to rage against, and your only real platform is the corporate media establishment, then as a fat, putrid, hypocritical sellout whose career is on the wane, what else are you gonna do but shill for that very same corporate media establishment? So listen, Michael. Keep making your little movies and your stage shows. Keep cashing in on that elitist leftist arrogance. And keep being pimped out as a mouthpiece for the very system you once opposed. But please, just stop pretending to represent ordinary working class Americans. Because you're so far away from them at this point. It's quite frankly shameful and embarrassing. If the majority of the people had their say on Michael Moore, I think it would be shut the fuck up. Please click the big red button to subscribe, it really helps me when you do that, and click the bell to allow notifications so you never miss a new video.